start. Um, for those I haven't spoken to, yeah. uh, my name's Stuart McConnell, I'm one of the general managers at Council, and I'm really pleased to be here. Not pleased about the circumstance, circumstances, but pleased to be here with you. What we thought tonight was just another opportunity to continue the, the conversation around what comes next for the Cam Valley community and to also to hear, I hope, cross fingers. Maria's the tip. <laughs> from, um, in a little while, from um, someone who's a real gem, Anne Leadbeater, who's, who's worked through a very um, similar um, situation to yourselves in Kimai just over 10 years ago. So um, I know Cam, uh, oh, sorry, I know um, Anne from uh, work I've done over the last couple of years, and, and I always enjoy just listening and, and learning, and there's so much that we can learn about. So how do you step through? These, these sorts of situations that we find ourselves in. So um, I'll, our, our real aim today is not to make any big decisions or anything, it's really just to continue the conversation and to learn a little bit more about um, how to think about what, what, what might come next for, for the community. Um, I'll come back and say a few more things in a moment, um, but before I do that, I'll hand over to Ami Aileen to welcome. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you just said I'm old. Look, on behalf of my family, like your gift, and like you said to us, it's so sweet. Look, welcome, welcome to today's discussion. Um, my family are Manila and Galio, so uh, we're not, we're kind of um, part of traditionally before the 1850s New South border line, we were just all one lot, one, one people's. And um, so that's what the Cam Valley is, we live in the Rainy Valley. And um, so that's in Malacuna. Once you get a little bit towards the border and that, that area, we, we meet up with the South Coast Hilly people. So my family are tied up with both mums, South Coast Hilly, and here and we so we're very fortunate and it's always an honour to even just do it a welcome home on home soil. And might I say thanks to everyone that helped during the, the crisis and uh, I have them to go off to a port to a really good good time. Not everybody's moving at the same pace but it's a lovely bit of country that we're on and it's going to be beautiful again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. And do we just want to flag we're recording it? So oh, sorry, I shouldn't do that. Yeah. Yes, we are recording. <laughs> and the reason for that is just so that we can post it tomorrow. Yeah. And um, so it's not going to live. Yeah. But so we can post it tomorrow. And then if anyone who couldn't be here today wants to hear uh, what and let me have to say we've got that opportunity, that's all. So. Okay, thanks. <coughs> okay, for those of you who don't know me, well, I'm Annie Heather, and I live up in the, right up in Meridinos, at the top of the valley, beautiful, beautiful part of the world. And I actually uh, work for the Heart Foundation at a part-time basis up in Fairmont, so I commute. And then I come bring my work down, so I go up there for two weeks, and then I come back and bring my work down here. Um, so that's what I, what I do. I actually also um, deliver work and training about values and about ethics, etc., to um, town planners, because I'm actually a town planner by, by profession. So what I'm going to do is just look and make sure that we just all know from the community. Come a little bit closer here. So can you can everyone see those ones? Yeah? Okay. So I'll just go, you can, I'm not going to read them, I'm just going to say our values. And these values were, of course, um, prescribed when we were doing the community plan. So we all agreed that this is what our values for the, for the Can River or Can Valley District was going to be. So it's going to be community spirit, safety, sense of pride, Peace and quiet, relaxing vibe and environment. So that's and if you can can you read the small print? Yes, yeah, cool. exactly, yeah. And of course, we always need to, when we're going to do something like this, we need to set some boundaries and some ground rules of some extent. So we need to look at because we're all going to form in different ways. So 
on our election grounds road and just say, no one got any issues about that. Again, these were the ones that we said about the community plan, that this is how we're going to form and this is how we're going to respectfully behave in a forum for us to work through decisions. Okay, and our community vision, which is on the front page of the plan, is we want our district to be a thriving, buzzing place which is inviting to locals, tourists and future economic opportunities and optimises the health, well-being and productivity of our beautiful paradise. We all agree on that? I, I, I wholeheartedly go, I'll swear by my heart, my heart I, I totally agree. It is a beautiful, beautiful place and that's what we need to do. So on that note, I think if we can, anyone got any comments, issues, questions? No? Okay, we'll move on to the next person. Thank you. So, um, I think the first thing I'd like to do is just recognise that this is not the first time that the people from the Tan Valley are, are getting together to talk about what their future has been, and I'm, I recognise there's been a fantastic amount of work done over the last 18 months or so, and Adam obviously and he's recapped on, on some of that work just now. I think what's really interesting um, with that it's a kind of interesting point where we, we, we got to the point of yep, endorsing, that's, yeah, everyone's endorsed, that's the plan, and then things change. Or the fire, the crisis comes through, the fire is here. Um, about now we're actually going to be thinking about a sort of celebratory event. Yep, we're having a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will. Yeah. And, and Celebrate it, the plan. And as we go forward our next while, we'll work out the things about the the work that's been done over the last 18 months that still ring true and some things might change and that's okay and some people who are involved might, might say we're not ready to be involved still and other people might come and say hey I want to be, be involved in this and that's all part of the, the process that we work through from here and make sure that everyone who needs to be included and can be included and is included as we, as we keep walking forwards. Um, when you know, I'll, I'll, I'll show us some a little animation in a moment, which I think is instructive. Certainly from, I, I, I certainly can't claim to, to, to have the experience that each of you have had in terms of being you know, variously connected with the, with the community here during the fire. Um, but I think it's kind of useful to have an understanding and, and just reflect a little bit on the, the scale of, of this event. And there are many communities around the place who are grappling with that in different ways. And, um, this community is no different from that, although the, the experience of each person, I think, can then recognise that that's different and, and unique. And, and we'll have time to, to reflect on that in, in due course. Um, we, one, of the, one of the things that, that's useful in, in understanding the scale of this is just to recognise the variation in that, that sort of different experience that different people would have. Um, so, We'll, we'll have a look at animation in a moment. One of the things that there will be an opportunity to do in your course is, is to um, have the opportunity to really debrief a bit more about what happened and what worked and what didn't work and, and all the rest. So it will be opportunities mm -hmm. through processes like this, but also, um, also I know state government's doing some stuff soon. Um, so starting in March, they're going to be around in communities with their review, and I, I, from the list of people, list of places that are coming, they're coming to Canberra, so it'll be a good chance to, to sort of debrief with some of the state agencies that review fire, fire response about what, what happened and, and so on. So that opportunity is coming. It's good for Canberra. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully for all the little, yeah. the little isolated yeah. areas. So yeah. when, I was, when I looked down the list, I was, I was really pleasantly surprised at about the number of different places the going is starting at Bonham. Yeah. Um, Canberra's on the list. Many, many other places. Did Nala take something in? Yeah. Ben Weaver? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. 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 So that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, because everyone's experience has been a little bit different mm -hmm. in, that, in that context and, and different things that we can learn um, as, as we go through that. So um, we'll, those opportunities will come. Those, those opportunities will come. Um, what we might do is just show the how do we press the button? That's right. I'm going to just show the animation because I think it's just um, instructive on the scale and the nature of, 
the nature of this. So this is something that Delp has put yeah. together, and there's also <coughs> some maps on the back um, for people to be able to reference in terms of the size. And um, this is as of the 12th of February, is the maps at the back. So obviously, we've still got active fires, so that will potentially change. And this was up until the 21st of January. Um, with the vision, it says January 2019. Obviously, it will be 2019, 2020, and just that there's a glitch in the way it's set up. But I thought it was really um, captured what happened over there. Here we go. Uh, Beautiful. Here we go. You want to yeah, just press play. So we'll just watch, watch that for a moment. And it just shows how the fire starts and, and spreads across the landscape. Hard work done by so many people in our community during this time 
and I would like to acknowledge them now. Firstly, James Pardew and the staff from Delp and Gus McKinnon and his crew. Those guys were truly amazing. And they worked tirelessly, bravely and selflessly and our community owes them an enormous debt of gratitude for keeping us safe. The CFA staff and volunteers, including all the wonderful crews from the Outer Melbourne Brigades who are here to have helped to save so many properties. Andrew Cochran, yeah. our local yeah. police yeah. and all his Victoria Police colleagues. Andrew was faced with an enormous challenge and he did a fantastic job over many long days. strength, level-headedness and caring went far beyond her job requirements and I can't imagine how many hours she worked during that time. <coughs> the SES volunteers, Kerry and Freddie Marchi, their staff from Relics and the other volunteers who helped feed the evacuees and the emergency services personnel at the P12 College. It was a huge undertaking under very trying conditions and they did an incredible job. Mm -hmm. Janet Young, in her Red Cross role, her husband Bill, yep. <laughs> and other volunteers, including P12 College staff who helped at the school. Janet spent many hours at the school and did an enormous amount of work to assist the emergency services personnel and those who had evacuated from their homes. Louise Peel, our Ambulance Victoria member, for her help at the school and her town patrols. <laughs> Adrian Nation, the quiet achiever, who was up at all hours patrolling neighbours' properties and assisting people along the Pan Valley. Michael O'Brien, one of our local oh, teachers, who provided first-hand measured information about the fires to the residents of Nirrumbi North and Chandler's Creek. The members of the community liaison group, Janet Young, Christine Brownlee, Jill <coughs> Filmer, Tracy Trotter, Maria, and all the volunteers who helped them. When things seemed to be so fractured, this group was formed. They got the relief effort organised and coordinated, and they helped the community get through a very challenging time. And the East Sunshire staff, particularly Sue Ann Clarendon, colouring bold, who did so much to assist the group. And finally, all the family members, friends, neighbours and volunteers who supported and helped each other to get through those dark, smoky, scary days and nights. I saw so many examples of this. People checking up on each other, taking food and supplies to those who needed it, impromptu get-togethers for kids to play at the Bush Nursing Centre, moving neighbours' cattle off roads, feeding pets, sharing highly sought-after cigarettes, People with generators inviting friends to, to charge their phones and have a hot shower. Friends chatting over a cup in the park, people comforting those in distress and sharing a joke when we so desperately needed to laugh. And so to all of you and anyone I may have missed, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to... I think we're going to get to the point of having our online. So that's not enough. Yeah. <laughs> as, as, as I mentioned earlier, um, I, I ran, ran into Anne a couple of years ago when I started working at another council, the Murray Shire Council, um, and and Anne was still around working around the the um, King Lake community at that time, and that was not. See, you can see Maria there, Anne. <laughs> She's running away. <laughs> um, so, as I mentioned, I, 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 I ran into Anne a couple of years ago up in, in King Lake and, um, and, and, and learnt some of her, her experience there. And I think um, the experience that, that Anne's had there and the work that she's done since is pretty useful for us just to have as an input and think, think through how, what comes next for us. Um, so understanding how we, a little bit about how as a community we all respond to these, these kind of events and, and what comes next. And um, also what, it, what it's like when you've, you've been doing some work around planning and other things for a community and then things change and what do you do? Do you, do you go back and revisit? Do you, how, do you, how do you move forward? Because um, some of that was the story of Tulane and I think and we'll touch on that as she goes through. So with that, um, it's good to see you again, Anne. And um, I'll hand you over to start having a chat with uh, the community here in Ken, Ken River. So can I just ask, is Anne only going to see that little top square up the top of the 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can make it so that you can. Okay. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you are talking to people. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'll just go there. More over there. And there are more, yeah. over, more over here. Yeah. And there are more yeah. over here. Yeah. More over here. Yeah. But anyway, there you go. Okay, um, terrific. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to, to be here and um, I'm really pleased to have a, an opportunity to have a chat. I've gone as far as Lakes Entrance but I haven't quite made it to um, to Cane Valley. So um, I want to say how really sorry I am that you guys are having this experience. This is a, you know, a really difficult time that you're, that you're in and, um, and I hope that maybe a, a little bit of what I can talk about might, might make just the job a tiny bit easier. Now, if the technology gods are with us, I'm going to be able to share my screen. So I'm just going to see if that works. And you can nod enthusiastically if you can see my presentation in just a sec, um, which will look like uh, this. So can you see the presentation? No, I still want to have to accept it. Not yet? Um, all right. Um, let me just have another go. Okay. Is that working now, Stuart? No, it's not. All right, let me just click this again and we'll see what it thinks. It's winding away, it's thinking. We had it working before, so that's frustrating if it's not going to work now. No? No. Is anyone else going to see that? Maybe we are swimming. We definitely have to. Yeah, I have no idea. What's that? Ask one of the kids. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hang on, yeah, you've got your screen, your, your, um, your presentation's down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so how's that? That's, That's it. Good. That's exactly good. where we had it, yeah. Brilliant, okay, all good. All right, so um, I want to just say that, um, that I do quite a bit of work um, with recovering communities and so that's why I get the opportunity to have a chat to you this evening. Um, but really, the, my journey in recovery began um, 11 years ago when we had fires in our community of Virginia Lake, which is part of the Black Saturday bushfires. Um, and you can see there we had a very significant impact 